I hope you had a great start into 2023. We had with our flying Amazon merch on demand account and I show you now the numbers for January. Hello and welcome back to the flying channel. Before I show you the numbers of 2023, we take one step back and look at the January of last year. So we had here 615 net sales with royalties of 1,862 euro. And this was round about a margin of 1,000 euros profit. If you wanna see this monthly numbers of our merge account, or you was wanna also see our daily sales we post in our stories, you can go to Instagram and simply follow our flying research account. Link is also down in the description. So, and how has it now developed from this, from last year to this year? We go into our merge account in the product extension, and then we go to statistics. And then you see here the previous month sales for January, and you see it on the first view, it's like a whole another level so sales nearly or doubled even more then we had like 5159 royalties and also the ad costs are a much higher but also of course the net profit and i thought now how can i make it a little bit more interesting because it's not so yeah i don't find it too interesting if i say like this and it is uh, blurred and hide uh, that I can say, yeah, we sold this 126 times and here one design 119 times. It's kind of boring or it doesn't bring any value to you who watched the video. And I also don't show you the advertising console with, yeah, here I had a campaign with ACOS, blah, blah, blah. What I worked out the last half an hour basically is some numbers that I use or parameters I use for our merge account to find out where was the progress, was I really better or is it just coming because I uploaded more designs. And I think this can really bring value also to you and also some yeah, ideas how you maybe can calculate your uh, profit or your growth on Amazon or any other print on demand account or even your own Shopify, Etsy store, whatever. So let's take a look at these numbers. So welcome to my little comparison of the January 2022 and 2023 on Amazon. This is Notepad++ and you know Notepad++ deserves a lot of love and is mega cool. And this is why we use this and not Excel. So what did I do here? We compare 2022 and 2023, of course. So here you have the obvious numbers again, royalties, ads, and also the net profit that comes in the end. And now we go to the um, yeah more advanced comparison. Maybe we name it like that. And this is that we have a look, hey, what come through ads, what was organic and how was the percentage of it and so on. So both accounts had at this time an advertising account. I think I was tier, I'm not sure, 8,000 or 10,000, maybe. <laughs> not, not quite sure, but I think it is a fair and square comparison, so everything should be okay. So, first of all, here are the organic sales we made with our account. How is this calculated? Um, I have to tell you that I always just calculate with the net numbers because I can't influence the return rate. I can't influence how many returns uh, came in a month. So I'm always just calculated, calculating with the net numbers because this is what is, what is there in the end. So 
I always calculate with these numbers and this is simply the net sales minus the ad sales. And then you can see here in 2022, we made 376 organic sales and in 2023, we made 509. So growth is there, but if you see this growth, it is really like that you could say it is simply just because we uploaded more than last year. So there is nothing spectacular or more traffic on Amazon and so on. So I would say this is a growth number that is really, really normal. Now we go to the ad sales and here you can see now why the jump from 2022 to three was so big. So we ha had last year 239 ad sales and this year 782. So we triple the numbers or even more <laughs> um, from last to this year. And you can see also here the next one, the part of the net sales. So it was around 40% in 2022 and in 2023 it was around 60 percent we made through ads this is basically coming because we have now a year of experience with ads so our campaigns are managed a lot better also there were some events like 100 days of school where we had already sales in 2022 but of course we could prepare better this year and of course you see it at these numbers that it worked out and the next numbers are also very interesting because here I simply calculate how much does a ad sale cost for me and how is the margin in the end so here my net margin per sale is simply uh, this year the the profit or the royalties divided by this year by the net numbers of sales and then you see here we also made a big big jump our net margin per sale was last year three euro and three cents and this year it was nearly four euros so a big big jump and this is also with the ad sales a big reason why these numbers are so much higher this year and here i calculated now down there the costs per sale and this is not like a cost or something so i don't um, have a look how much profit or how much royalties i have for a design and then i calculate the advertising cost from it this is in general a, a summary so all I do here is I calculate the ad costs and divide them with the ad sales I had. So if I do this for 2022, one sale, one ad sale had costs of three euro and 62 cents. And this year it was like three euro and 56 cents. So it's quite similar but because we had so many ad sales this is quite good and it gets even better because the net margin per sale was also much much better so because if you if you calculate that that uh, last year one ad sale based on the net margin per sale cost me a lot, around 60 cents so i was in in minus when I go to the ad costs you know what I mean so my goal is always to be like break even so one sale one net margin per sale is around zero margin to one ad sale I make so and this is like last year it costed me to make sales with ads and this year we were in profit so we made like 43 cents on top for every ad sale and this is also the reason why these numbers are so much higher and the profit is like doubled or more than doubled and also of course the ads grow with the royalties it's, it's simply like that that's also why we had so much more ad sales and 
in the end you can say that the organic sales are quite similar and the growth is okay like you expected but when it comes to the ads the ads are much better the ads are much better than last year a lot more profit and yeah so you can say from the design side and maybe can be better because the organic sales weren't so so much bigger so customers on amazon maybe are not so much more attractive because i just uploaded more designs you could say that but on the other hand you also can say that our ads are organized and created much better than last year and then i have here a one last number everyone is always interested the return rate last year it was 6.68 percent this year it is horrible 11.58 percent this is because of christmas sales but also i had many event designs in january and a few already came back and they still coming back in february that's why my my february numbers aren't looking that good um yeah it's mega high to be honest and it shouldn't be that high but um what i always think in the end is i i can't really influence that if you buy 10 shirts for an event and you send five or six back then it is like that you know i i, I can't influence that this is why of course I, I i keep this inside and i had a look have a look at it but in the end i i can't really influence it so yeah i, I take it as it is and this is also the reason why i always calculate with with net numbers because this is in the end what's there you know and this is why i i don't calculate with return rate or gross numbers this is yeah this is just to to have a general overview so i hope this could give you a little insight how i organize my numbers and how i calculate that i can also do this of course for next month and yeah this is how i see where the growth really was and where i can do better for example i should make probably better designs <laughs> you could you could say it like that but of course in january 2022 we had no inflation also so high inflation like now or also no war in ukraine and for these factors the january 2023 developed really good i can't complain um let's see how the february works out i don't think to be honest that i come near these numbers but honestly this is not my goal the goal must be to be the, that the growth is much higher than last year but if it's 1.5 times higher or three times higher let's see you know the only basic thing is that it is higher and the growth is there okay so this was it for this video for our um amazon merge on demand sales for january 2023 i see you back in february with a video like that sorry in march of course and if you have any questions about it or something in the numbers was wrong or you haven't really understood then simply write it down in the comments leave a like then also subscribe to this channel it's just a click for you but it helps us really to grow and to be shown to more persons because we are like a business youtube channel and business is not like the the biggest part on youtube so we are happy for every like and every subscribe we get then see you in the next one we have really interesting stuff coming probably already tomorrow new keywords that you never have seen before see you then till then